Okay, guys, look at this. What's your name, please? My name is Jessica. Your name's Jessica? Okay, so you're gonna show me the rule that says where a child cannot have a bathing suit on in a water park hotel. Show it to me right now. Show it to me right now. You're gonna lose your job, I promise you that, eh? Show them show me the rule that says a, a child cannot have a bathing suit on in a water park hotel. Show it to me right now. We're not gonna have this conversation. We are gonna go back to your room. We're having this conversation. Show me the rule, please. Ma'am, all show I me the rule, please. To cover up. Show me the rule that asks, show me anything that says outside of water park hours, you have to be covered up. Ma'am. She's a child. Show me the rule. Show me the rule. If that's a real rule, show it to me. Ma'am. I'm going to ask you to go back to your room. Oh, don't. Okay. I hope you enjoy your employment because this is probably going to be your last day here. Okay, guys. So when I first saw this, I was like kind of siding with the person holding the phone. Because I'm like, guys, you're a water park. So like, no shit. We're going to see people in like tube tops, bras, shirtless. You know what I'm saying? It's a water park. So what did you expect? Why are you making a big deal about their daughter wearing like pants and like a bra? Like who cares, right? But also, I don't know nothing about water park resort lodges or whatever the fuck. And like, you know, Jessica does. So she said, if she was to tell me, hey, this is one of our rules, I'm not going to come back with a camera and be like, show me the fucking rule book. Show me the rule book. Like, <laughs> so low key, the person holding the phone looks very childish and immature. Jessica was pretty calm and polite having someone just scream at her like that, bro. I promise you that, eh? <laughs> That's the most Canadian threat I've ever heard. <laughs> Kudos to Jessica for staying calm. Jessica, we love you. Good for you for keeping your composure in class. Oh, damn. This ain't... <laughs> I know these comments isn't what she thought was going to happen. Saying she was going to lose her job was extreme. <laughs> for real. <laughs> My daughter has to wear a shirt. I'm going to get your job. <laughs> your job will be mine. <laughs> When the comments aren't what you thought they'd be, yeah, they're <laughs> these are none, none of these are nothing what she thought, bro, for real. It's 1 a.m. Why is any 15-year-old girl walking around the hotel wearing that at 1 a.m.? Kudos to Jessica. 1 a.m. I don't think it fucking matters. I'm gonna be real. The 1 a.m. thing. It's just like if it's not okay to wear it at 1 a.m., why would they why should a child be allowed to wear it in broad daylight? <laughs> They wrote this on her shit. Please give Jessica a raise or at least an extra PTO day. She handled this situation so well like a true professional. Yo, these comments are just so... <laughs> Yo! So guys, I guess the mom wasn't satisfied with what everyone was saying, so she felt like she had to explain her side and she posted this on her TikTok. Backstory. Brooklyn and her two friends were walking in the lobby to go pick up food and her girlfriend, 15, had on pajama pants and a swim top and was asked by Jessica that work there to cover up. For anyone who doesn't know, this is a water park hotel where people walk around in their swimsuits day and night. I asked her to show me a rule that says she can't do that since she decided to embarrass and basically pick on body shame. But is that body shaming? Mm, I don't know. A 15 year old because she felt uncomfortable. Her excuse was that there could be little kids walking around. That's kind of a send off answer. But those same little kids see her walking around in even less than what she had on during the day. True! While it's in the water park. It was 1 a.m. and there was not a single other soul in the lobby. Hmm. She said, hashtag fake, fake rule, enforcer, Great Wolf Lodge. If a child's body offends you, don't work at a water park. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm looking at the comments. Everyone's still siding with Jessica. They want her to get a raise. They de she deserves PTO. PTO. <laughs> They're not switching. Jessica's the winner. <laughs> They're not going, bro. Okay, guys. So y'all know me. I want to go do a little more digging just so that we can end this once and for all. I look up their site and I go to their frequently asked questions and it's right here. Our lodge is considered casual, but we do ask that when you are outside of the water park, that shirts and shoes are worn. It's right there. So <laughs> it wasn't a made up rule. Now, one thing I will say, it does not say that you can't. It just says that we would ask. Which means I wouldn't be surprised if they're casually letting people walk around like guys with no shirts and women in their bikini tops. I'm pretty sure they're letting people do that. And then they can just pick and choose who they want to ask. But it doesn't say you can't. Which is probably why the lady with the phone was like, what the fuck? Like, 
people are walking around here like this all the time and you just picked my kid like what the fuck and then if that was the case i can see her perspective that girl was 15. i wonder what jessica would have done if it was like a 25 year old lady um in her bikini top i wonder what she would do so guys the lady that was holding the phone like just did not like what the comments are saying and just still felt like she had the need to explain her side now i wasn't gonna play it but i want to match the fucking the voice, the words to a face, okay? So let's just roll it. Hey everyone, it's Brooke's mom. <laughs> Angry TikTok mom, whatever. Um, so I did want to come on and say a few things. Um, no, a lot of people are looking for an update or uh, at least my side of the story. It's a little one-sided, the video doesn't tell everything. One-sided? It, it was your video. How did, <laughs> how did your video become one-sided? You shot it. <laughs> So I want to just make a few points uh, for those of you that understand and believe in what I'm saying. Thank you. I really appreciate your support. For those of you who don't, I couldn't give any less of a shit. Um, so anyways, um, the point I was trying to make is that I've been to that hotel many times. Uh, people walk freely in their swimsuits throughout the lobby, throughout the hotel at any time. Um, what she had told the little girl was that it was about the water park hours, and uh, it may have been my ignorance, but I've never read that rule on the website about having to wear a shirt and shoes in the lobby. But in my defense, I've been there so many times, and I've never seen or experienced anyone being told to cover up or uh, being told that they can't wear a swimsuit in the lobby because that's just common practice there for anybody who's been there knows that that's just what everyone is doing, you know? Not everyone, but uh, people do. And so, when she said that it was about the water park hours and that there may be little kids walking around, I knew that that was immediate bullshit. And um, those same little kids would be in the water park the next day. You know, what? why would her body be offensive to a little kid? Over here, she wrote, the day before while I was checking in, I was standing behind a dripping wet man with no shirt or shoes. He was served and not told anything about his attire. And, and I believe that because they can they would ask you, but they're not saying nobody can because you got all these people all these people going swimming, getting ready to go out to the pool. It's like what you look like telling everyone not to be in there. So I, I kind of get it. I will say, since it was 1 a.m., there there shouldn't be a reason why you should be like shirtless out there. But it's still not that serious to me to like enforce the rule. If anything, I think Jessica was like seeing a 15 year old girl in a bikini top and was like, bro, it's late. There's like, I don't want weirdos to be like looking at you being weird, like go home. And I think that's what Jessica did that to her. She's, I think low key Jessica was looking out for your daughter. I'm gonna be real. All right, y'all. What do y'all think about this? Guys, we just made it to 1 million followers. Everything that we've been posting, the TikTok story times, I never thought we would, would get this far. I'm really a music artist, but I make these videos because I know y'all like them. So can you please follow the page for me? And outside of all this dead gang, remember, it was just you and you had a plan. You have come too far. Do not forget what you did all this work for. And I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life and we not finna live it being no weak motherfucker. On dead and them, we got work to do. So pop your shit, star. If it was love, then why didn't you stay? I remember every time you told me that I was the one that couldn't be replaced. But it was so easy to throw us away. And the only way I keep my peace is thinking the universe wants it to be. I fucking love you, but not more than me. When I could die tomorrow, I cannot leave with no regrets. You acting different on people.